Oh yes, today's high tech review on shoes is brought to you by Little Tykes and their cupcake kitchen, of which my phone is balanced on top of. And what's holding my phone from falling over is a mermaid doll and a pair of yoga pants. Yeah. So today I'm just doing a quick review for the Escalante. There is a billion reviews out there on these. These are super popular. These are the new new shoe from Ultra. This is kind of a hopefully a different perspective. I have bunions. Not just little ones. Not cute little bunions. I've got these giant bunions on either side of my feet. My feet look like triangles. It's awesome. So I was running in the Torrent 2.0. This is my first pair. Yes, they are sad. Yes, they are going to recycling because I've worn through the foot pod. The foot pod right here is no more. Uh, typically, I, I keep a couple pair when I know they're going out. Kind of keep them as backup. This was pair number one, which is starting to wear through in the heel. Uh, it's been demoted to dog duty. And that's just because after a while I realized that when I walk my dog, the outer wears out faster and it has nothing to do with heel strike. It's called the squirrel wear pattern. You hold the dog, the dog sees a squirrel, you go whoosh, that way. So I had to open up my last pair. They're in rotation now and I'm kind of sort of hoarding them. I want to wear them. I'm planning a, uh, a 50 mile run, not a race, just a 50 mile run. And it's uh, on a towpath kind of uh, material. So it's not quite trail, but it's not road. So I'm kind of saving my torns to, to use for that. But I needed to find something to get me through the interim. I understand that the 3.0 is going to come out soonish, hopefully the next couple months. I think May is what I've, I've read on the blogs. And I'm really hoping that they go back to this this more of this foot shape. The new ones are, the 2.5s are narrower and the material is not as, is, um, forgiving. So it's not really stretchy. It's a softer upper, but it's very not flexible. And, um, it kind of made my bunions look like a snake that had just eaten a big meal. So it, it went, boink, not a good look. I originally tried the Paradigms, they were wider in the foot box, but within five minutes of wearing them around my house, my feet were going numb. So I decided to return them and I came back to the Escalante, which is much narrower and does not really have that foot shape as much as some other previous versions. It's a good looking shoe. I ended up going with this one uh, because of the logo, which is going to sound crazy, but the placement of the logo, the new um, kind of a 3D uh, textured one on the paradigm actually was right in bunion country so that pressure was giving me a little extra pain these are very stretchy it's more of a, a sock upper which means that my bunion isn't getting all scrunched up in there it also means that look there's like a little custom bunion shape right there oh, it's like they're customized for me oh so I wore these for two miles as a test run, and I think I'm going to give them a go for my race on Saturday, which is 11 miles, for better or for worse. I'm going to commit to them. Yay. They kind of go with my outfit, too, so that doesn't shouldn't matter, but it does a little bit. Two things. Yes, they're bouncy. Yes, they're comfy. Yes, they stretch. However, I'm not sure if it's the sock that I wore today for two miles or if it's the shoe itself. They made my feet really, really hot. Like these were hot as balls. So I did two miles and my feet were really, really toasty. It's forties with wind where I am. And, um, I ran in this and my feet were still sweaty. Two miles. We'll see how they are after 11 miles. Um, if you are anywhere near the DC area and you can smell my feet after running in these, I apologize. But I'm going to give them a try. I don't think they're going to last for super long because, I mean, they're foamy, they're light, they're also ultras, and I have yet to have a pair last me past 300. Oops. I just whacked the cupcake kitchen. But I will give them a try, and if they make it past 300, I will give a thumbs up, enthusiastic review. Otherwise, I'm just kind of using this as placeholders and hoping for the best and the new Torrens. Please bring them back. Please. Please. Thank you.